Strong brakes are essential for your car to stop safely and avoid accidents. One way to check the condition of your brakes is by measuring the thickness of the brake pads. If the pads become too thin, it can put your safety at risk. That's why it's important to know when the pads need to be replaced. This video explains everything about brake pad measurements. It shows you the thickness of new brake pads, the minimum thickness required, and the ideal thickness. You'll also learn about the laws related to brake pads. But just before we start, please subscribe to the channel. At what thickness do brake pads need to be replaced? Brake pads are moderately worn when their thickness is between 4 to 6 millimeters, or 1 8 to 1 quarter inch. If they get thinner, reaching 2 to 3 millimeters, or below 1 8 inch, they need to be replaced right away. Driving with pads this thin is unsafe and can cause serious damage to your car. You should stop driving until new pads are installed. If you continue to drive, the thin pads can harm the rotors and create a loud grinding sound that's unpleasant and costly to fix. At what thickness do brake pads start at? New brake pads are usually about 12 millimeters or half an inch thick. However, in some cars, especially at the rear, the pads might be slightly thinner, measuring around 8 to 10 millimeters. Brake pads can stay at this thickness for a long time if you drive gently and avoid sudden stops. This careful driving helps the pads wear down more slowly and last longer. Ideal brake pad thickness. Brake pads should ideally measure at least 6 millimeters or more to work effectively. If they get thinner than this, their performance starts to decline. While you might stretch their usage a bit if you're short on money, it's best not to delay replacing them for too long. Once the pads wear down to 3 millimeters, it becomes dangerous. Your safety is at risk and other parts of the brake system could be damaged. What is the legal minimum brake pad thickness? The federal government requires that brake pads on the steering axle must stay above 1.6 millimeters for hydraulic disc, drum, or electric brakes, and at least 3.2 millimeters for air disc brakes. However, these minimums aren't ideal for safe driving. When brake pads are this thin, your safety on the road is already at risk. That's why it's always best to replace them before they reach these levels. Waiting too long can compromise your ability to stop effectively. How to measure brake pad thickness. To check how thick your car's brake pads are, you can measure them at home. Some car models even let you check the pads without removing the wheels, depending on the rim type. To do it properly, you'll need a floor jack, flashlight, lug wrench, and a brake measuring gauge. Here's how. First, park on level ground and place wheel chocks behind the wheels that stay on the ground. Use the floor jack to lift the side of the car where you want to check the pads. Check your car's service manual to find the right spots for the jack. Loosen the wheel bolts with the lug wrench, remove them and keep them safe. Then take the wheel off to expose the brake rotor and caliper. Look through the hole in the caliper to see the brake pads. You'll find the inboard, inner pad, and the outboard, outer pad. If they're hard to spot, use a flashlight. Measure the pad thickness with your brake measuring gauge, or you can use a compass or vernier caliper if you don't have one. The tool's reading will show the thickness of your brake pads. Once you've got the measurements, put the wheel back on and tighten the bolts. Lower the car back down carefully. If you're unsure about doing this or need assistance, you can always visit a local auto repair shop. Many shops offer affordable brake pad inspections, especially if you plan to have the work done there.